shit. Wait, I thought it was muted. Oh god. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Hello. <laughs> I was having mic issues, and I thought for a second, oh, I muted my mic. Some... No, I didn't. Eh, fuck it. I got. What is this stuff? Chapstick. I'm slathering up on chapstick. Anyway, long story short, I am back after three weeks of being gone. And it is good to be back. To make a long ass story short, I spent two weeks in Colorado. The two weeks there sucked. The only good thing is that we went off-roading, so that was cool. I actually posted a, vi a short video I took to the hotel room in one of the hotel rooms with my dog, so that was that. I got really bad altitude sickness at one of the stops as well. The other thing, but the past week, I got home a week ago, and I haven't been doing anything the past week because I'm gonna switch the gameplay. Gotta switch the gameplay. To make a long story short, I was stuck in Colorado, and then I came here, and I spent four I had an online class. I spent 40% of the class in Colorado, and then I had my final, so I was stressing out about that, and then I spent the previous days kind of recuperating, relaxing, but now I'm back, and uh, there's like a... Hold up. I don't know what the button just did. I've just opened something by accident. Everything's froze. Oh fuck, it was Opera. I downloaded Opera out of cur the Opera browser out of curiosity because I needed a browser that would run. There we go. I needed a browser that would run Flash for a thing. Anyway, welcome to Sam and Max Save the World. I was going to originally stream uh, Radish Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion, but then I stumbled upon Sam and Max on YouTube, and I fell in love. I don't know much about it. I've, I've done some diving into YouTube, but I still don't know much about it. As far as I know, there's a dog, there's a rabbit, they're both gay, and police off and they're both police officers. So... <laughs> But I know this game's a point and click, which is some, one of my favorite genres of games. So, let's just get into it right quick. We're only playing the first episode. It's gonna take anywhere from one hour to two. Okay, episode one, Culture Shock. The former child, so the former child stars of the Soda Poppers TV show are wreaking havoc all over the neighborhood. But this is no ordinary tale of child stars gone array. There's a dark force behind. Oh, uh, thank you for fo following Fragil Fragilitus, I think it's pronounced. Um, but this is no ordinary tale of child stars gone array. There's a dark force behind the popper's baffling antics. Yeah, there always is. It's called the fucking producers, fuck them, in Hollywood. Using only their wits and, and a slew of heavy household objects, it's up to Sam and Max to save the day. Alright, let's get started with episode one. Ah, that, that was my water touching up. I might need to move my mic. Wet. In the corner, you see a little flaming bunny. Okay, I like jazz. I, I, I like some jazz. I'm not a big fan of all of it, but this is a good jazz. Oh, cool opening. I'm looking forward to this, because from the clips I saw, this is going to be a very funny game. Just a lot of cutscenes. Bopping my head to the beat. There's multiple Maxes. I really like Max's design too. He just looks so fucking feral and that's wonderful. Episode 1 Culture Shock. 
Oh. Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? That's not a phone, dumbass. Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons this napped our phone. Yeah, I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. Okay. Click to move sand or hold. Okay. Boom picture. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Yeah, like snacks. cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. I'm pretty sure we're playing the remaster, though I downloaded both, so let's check the kitchen. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. That's not how it works. Answering machine. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Uh, One of these days, we're going to finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. <laughs> Box and glove. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. Shut up, I love dad jokes. Who the fuck is that guy? They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just no, what we not. need. More lame poetry. It's not, it's not poetry. Oh. We'll go back. Uh, donut box. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. Uh, that's a concerning coat hanger. Let Anyone me just fiddle person? with the reception here. Put it back, Sam! Put it back! There. That fixed it. Roadkill calendar. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Uh, television. Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with emetics! The handbook for multicolored happiness and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect. I'll take two. Okay, uh, VCR. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. <laughs> okay, that one got me. That one got me. Place basket. No dice. Door. We'd really better not leave until we've taken care of this Swiss cheese ransom the phone deal. It's the water cooler. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? <laughs> Where's the what? rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! I was just about to ask, why the fuck's there a news? Apparently they collect them. Alrighty. Um, lava lamp. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. <laughs> I love how grimy everything looks. Max's desk is a little plunger! <laughs> no comment. Uh, file cabinet. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? Where's that cheese? You sure you don't remember where you put that cheese, little buddy? Sheesh, you'd think I'd forgotten my pants or something. It's here in the office someplace. He does not wear pants. What do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the union. I'm pretty sure this game takes place in New York. Uh, Kumo just resigned, so... Does that feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. Whee! Yes! I saw a clip of that. I was so glad that happened. 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Wait, hold up. Ah, uh, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Ah, uh, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. What's the bowling ball? Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. 
Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never gonna look at again? Okay, uh, check the closet. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. Why did you just stack it in the fucking closet? Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Oh, there's a hand up there. Hold up. Jesse James! We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. There's a context behind there. Still doesn't look like Swiss cheese to me. Shoot it! Okay, okay. Uh, you have a gun! Yes! Shoot the cheese! Take that, you law-breaking dairy products. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. There we go, Swiss! Voila, Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! <laughs> oh, I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna aim the gun at Max. Tempting sometimes, but I become fond of the little guy. Uh, what else should we shoot? What should we shoot? What should we shoot? Yeah, whatever. Okay. That was, uh, like, ten seconds of fun. There we go. The ransom. Has Greetings! Been paid. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. <laughs> if you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed. And what? I am unable to comply with your request. A what? list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Tootie ain't no rat. It's a uh, mafia well, thing. Well, I ain't but... talking. Uh, I want to do my bird is dangerous. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. Okay, let's switch. Oh my god, it's all threats on Max's end. Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking like bacon here. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Okay, Max is not really convincing. I don't think Max, uh, got a headache, eh? You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Light's too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Oh, I have an idea. Um, I think that's Don't right. Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey. Like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! This thing is killing me. Oh, oh my god, he did have the phone I wish inside I could him. Unsee that. He did eat Hello. the phone. Yes. Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! What the Where's hell? The rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh joy! <laughs> That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Okay, that was... All right. I did not expect him to barf up the phone. I, I was like, the phone is inside the rat. I'm going to tear him apart. But no, it was inside the rat. Hmm. Okay, uh, running. Who the fuck is... Who are you? Oh, there's a floor inside. Dumpster! I'm gonna go dumpster diving. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable <coughs> scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. 
It's called the Soda Poppers, and the 70s are not old. Specs, <laughs> it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! Max, you're like a semi-celebrity. Uh, I remember when you were Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. <laughs> Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. Did I see you on TV recently? Didn't I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I was desperate. I was heavy into three ring binders at the time and I needed the money. You got your <laughs> clock cleaned by that lady from Old and in the Way. Never saw that walker coming. Ah, <laughs> that's. Uh, what have you been up to? So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Okay, I get this video. I, my, my Where sweaty can I hands. find a copy of the video? You. They carry him over at Bosco's. You should get it. Okay, enough about that. I want to go dumpster diving. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Well, that's nice. Uh, I'm not gonna put him on. How about your spray painting? Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? Who or what are you painting? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg. It's Brady <laughs> Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo I'm Ocular awesome. Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. He, keep, he keeps repeating that. Ibo. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today. Okay, he keeps... Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. He keeps... Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next. Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Max, you've got the TV schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. Okay, dumpster, dumpster. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. <laughs> That's not how it works. Ben, ben meter. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. This is rocks. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. Uh, what's this? It's a Hmm. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. Oh, How do they disgusting. stay fresh? They don't. Oh, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. Have Special no fear, cheese. simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you called. It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! Munchkin terrorist. <laughs> that sounds like my brother! Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the ladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star? Oh, just lock him up and throw away the jail! One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. <laughs> and you should take a few yourself. 
How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? What's he doing? Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's <laughs> malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's Ibo? What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Yeah, I videos. got that feeling too. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. <laughs> Video something. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. <laughs> it makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's definitely a conspiracy. Okay, video delivery conspiracy. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray, Stop tilt. right there! Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. That's why he's bald. The hairspray did him in. The hairspray did his hair in. Have you actually uh, witnessed this Ibo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Ah, yes. That's how we get the ring. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. <laughs> See, not even the National Guard can help us now. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? Uh, nice place you got nice here. Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? Nice security hazards. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You've been robbed as many times as I have. You do the same. I've never been robbed, you actually. But ass. then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. Uh, nice name. Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. <laughs> well, thanks. I try. Nice provider. How do you get out of that cage, anyway? Uh, that's for me to know and you never to find out. What were we talking about? Well, sure we We'd like to doing. patronize your fine establishment, my good man. <laughs> By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. <laughs> I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So, what do you want to buy? What have you got? What have you got? Well, I I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. <laughs> oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh, yeah, I really want that. Oh, I think it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. Give us the tear gas. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Or well, one really big one. You mean white collar crime drive? Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cess piles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. <laughs> that's not what I thought you were gonna say, but that's good too. <laughs> okay. Alright, there's more? Never mind. Nothing for us right now. Okay. See you, Bosco. We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pine sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! Okay, uh. Oh my god, he just dashed out the door already! No, no, he, he's, no, he's not dashing out the door. Oh, there goes Max. Ah. Okay. Uh, there's the uh, freezer. Refrigerators. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. <laughs> oh, and there's a max on the door. Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. Bathroom terror level. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. Bathroom terror level. 
Lots of terror. Uh-oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. <laughs> I like other than Say, this. Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. <laughs> not Cho. Not Cho's. They're mine, not Cho's. Microwave. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. <laughs> I want to see that happen. Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors wheatgrass and meatloaf. I'll take a wheatgrass. <laughs> I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. <laughs> Wizard. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizer. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizer. What are you doing here? Okay, and, uh, what exactly are you hands? doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. About these videos. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who's Brady Culture? Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady <laughs> Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. Another it's 70s a child kid. star bonanza. Another 70s kid. Uh, what's the point of Ibo? What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Uh, does it have any celebrity endorsements? Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. I want to take off my shirt. I'm very hot. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Well, that's nice. What is? Uh, you're breaking the law. Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. Put your hands on your head. You're under this arrest. There's another clip. There's another oh, clip. come on. It's a free country. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who told you that? <laughs> this guy's <laughs> suffering from some pretty severe delusions. <laughs> okay, uh, see you later. If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. All right, let's grab an Ibo. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for ocular fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh, good. I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. <laughs> what do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel well, no, coated sugar logs. Caramel coated sugar Magazines. What do we have here? Organ Trader? Hot Bunny. Weekly. Oh, let me see that. Hot Bunny. Uh, talk to Max. What, what do we do about? What should we do about Wizard and his reverse shoplifting? Unwashed violence is one of my favorite techniques. Bosco's got a lot of interesting, if questionable, products in here. I think it's the only store in town where they carry those albino monkey crackers I got hooked on in Borneo. Mm -hmm. Do you smell something funny? Like the feet of the howling damned? There's a leaky can of aerosol meat in one of the aisles. Aerosol uh -huh. meat. I thought I recognized the scent. 
aerosol me. I'll let you get back to your shopping, or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. Hot weenies, hot weenies, get your hot, hot weenies. weenies. Look, Sam, Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Wizard is just going fast as hell. One dollar lottery tickets, two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Uh, well, let's talk to Bosco one more hey, time. Hey, Bosco, what can I do for you? About the Munchkin terrorism. Yeah, what about it? So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abusing his bathroom privileges? That's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No way. I've got BTADS, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. BTADS? What's that? BTADS? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? Yep. Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon. You'll see. Or try to walk out of here with something. Go ahead. I dare you. Maybe we will. Uh... Okay, what? At the risk of sounding callous, how come your fancy pants defense system can't even stop small bladder boy over here? It was designed to keep people from taking stuff out of the store, not from bringing it in. All right. A rare case of reverse shoplifting. <laughs> Shop dropping? Hmm, yeah, I suppose so. Okay. I think, I think got we it. got it. All right, okay, I'm gonna anything I'm gonna pull else? I'm gonna pull the gun. See you later, Bosco. Remember, we never had this conversation. What conversation? The conversation we just had. <laughs> no, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Oh, brother. Okay, let's uh, check our inventory. Done. There we go. Ah! He got bumped in the head. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Clean up on aisle three. <laughs> you okay, Sam? I'll need a new skull, but otherwise, no complaints. Oscos is a gun-free zone. Gun-free? Sartre was right. Purgatory really is a convenience store. Don't make me laugh, little buddy. It jiggles my sensitive cranium. Okay, let's uh, go. Turkish Army Surplus. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, I can, I can kneel. Hold up. Hold up. And I keep running into things. It's only for sure for its sake. First. There, let's go to the office. That is a okay. Let's uh take the tape and put in the VCR. I think the VCR is good. I am uh I am I'm, okay, I'm, Max, ready for I'm, that ocular know, workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Oh my Culture. god, he looks like You he may is. remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. Hmm. What you are about to see will change your life forever. This so watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines! You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. Oh my god. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look! Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. <laughs> We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. <laughs> okay, uh... Let's get the... Let's get that horrid video back, and let's go. Whee! <laughs> we launched Max on our way out. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Wonderful. 
Frank, where's our car? Oh, let's talk to Specs. Hey, Specs. By the way, we're freelance police, and you're under arrest. No, I've really got to finish this. But thanks anyway. Um... <laughs> That's not how it works, but... Excuse us. We've got important things to do. Don't we all? Okay, I want to keep going this way. Straight and narrow. Where do I go from here? Let's go to the van. Hmm. Let's get cracking. Yeah! Let's check out Wizard. Let's check out Wizard. I don't think we can go any further. I don't think we can go the other way. I have a sneaky suspicion we cannot. Who's there? Yeah, it's just you. There goes Wizard. Hey, Wizard. Hi! I want to ask you again about these videos. Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. I think his brain is stuck. Is the taser charged up? Well, that's uh, nice. Okay. Then what is? Go back and, uh, if you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. We got one. Thanks. Let's check out the mouse. Controls, I feel, are a little janky, but that's just me being a dumb. Special. Buy one, get one. What a deal! Like, there's Stinky's Diner over there. I think I know something about it. I'm pretty sure that's the location. Uh, let's see. No, wait, we can go the other way. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. I More got lame stupid. poetry. I got stupid. We can go the other way. Uh, that ends mine. Devils. Uh-uh. Dead end. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Ah, uh, Sybil's. Okay, we'll ask Sybil about it. I don't think we need to, but I want to. I. I... Who's that? Oh, it's another guy. Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide eyed circus freak like you. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Me? Right, you're, uh. Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! No, he's not Sybil. Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! That's me! He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. <laughs> Obviously. This game I can keep quiet for most of the time because this is a very funny thing. This, guy, this game does Sybil's the normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Okay, I'm going to... This is where your past comes to die in the background. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! I like... I like... I have a skin art song. Skin art. Is that art for skin or art made from skin? Your ideas are effervescent pustules, Max. Sparkly and disgusting. Think positive, shock omatic. Nice sign. Closet door. Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my God! He's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. 
Sam and Max, we're freelance police. Civil pandemic, licensed psychotherapist, nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? The psychotherapist's handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? <laughs> but he's my pal. But he's my pal. You were friends with that overgrown sociopathic child? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. Mm -hmm. What's the charge? Uh, like What's the charge? Dialogue, Assault! Kidnapping! Identity theft! Those are good charges. Some of my favorites! And what about Mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me! Gadzooks! Why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. He's hypnotized? Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. Uh, how can you tell? How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. What can we do? Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! The I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Okay, I know what we do. I know what we do. I know... I think I know, at least. Peepers. Okay. I can see you! Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey, there he is! You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Okay, uh, what do we do? What about the bowling ball? I can see you! Please stop doing we need, that! I think we need the tear gas thing. We need the tear gas thing, but we don't have the tear gas. So, Whee! time being, we'll leave. I want to check out lefties. I don't know what lefties is. Mine says relax. Cool. The, the store looks punk as fuck, though. Lefties. The L train. El train. Oh, he's making armpit parts. That's what that means. This place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with a number three socket spanner. Exactly. Good times. Okay, I don't want to... Hmm. That car says Pond Man. Let's go to the soda. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! Okay, we're gonna give a ticket to the rich criminal. We're gonna... We are going to get the cash. Then we're gonna pay for the tear gas launcher. And then we're going to gas people. By the way, Sam, out. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. Uh, what do I do? I don't know what I do. Okay. Uh, megaphone. Attention fellow drivers. If for any reason we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you. Take uh, the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Uh, shoot. Dealing party. Horn. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die. Hello, uh, I, we're freelance police. And you are not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? We're not charging you with anything. We just wanted to say hello. Hello. Well, okay, bye. Okay, we need to break the bye. light. We need to break the taillight, I think. Get the gun. Break the taillight. 
Hmm, no one seems to be breaking the law today. I know! What's the problem? Start committing some crimes, you sick bunch of reprobates! Okay, uh, gun. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. Then megaphone. Pull over, or we'll be forced to destroy your car and its occupants, if any. Okay, so we need to charge him for the tail light. Greetings, anonymous motorist. If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. What's the charge? Uh, hideously broken tail light. Your tail light's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? What, are you crazy? One second, allow me to confer with my legal counsel. <clears throat> my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we got some accounting to do. <laughs> there we go, Thanks, we got sucker. our money! We got our money! We got our money! Let's get that... Let's get the... Launcher and then okay, and then go back to the office. Got our cash. It's time to dash. Okay, the boss goes. Okay, we're gonna get the Bosco shit and then. Hello. Okay, Bosco. Hey, Bosco. What do you need? Uh, want to buy something? We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? Here's the tear we gas. got your tear gas money right here. Really? Well, all right. Here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. Awesome. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Now put that away before someone gets hurt. What do you mean? The tip. Oh, I'm sure. Oh. It's okay, okay everybody. I'm all right. All right, let's let's go. Let's go. We're going to. Actually, hold up. Let's test it on peepers. Let's test it on peepers. All right. You're great. You're great. Ask grenade launcher. Thanks. Hey, quit it, brain freeze. Looks like this stuff doesn't work on people who wear glasses. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Because like the it's pretty quiet on the game's end. But, well, the game the game's end is pretty loud. Okay. Whee! There goes Max. Keep us. Oh, Sybil. Yes. Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry. This won't hurt a bit. No! <laughs> but it will make you cry. Please, Sam, allow me. Now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. That's a lie. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. <laughs> Sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. <laughs> oh, my, that was great. That was great. Oh, I mean, wait, my evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. <laughs> uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. 
Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I have the weirdest dream. Soda pop and and there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes, Brady Culture was there. He kept telling me to do stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. <laughs> Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? No, you Nothing didn't. a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, yeah, she has a tattoo chair. So. That looks comfortable. Oh, it is. How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? Let's look around. Great idea. I, I really like Max's voice, and I remember seeing uh, the thing that introduced me to Sam Max was I saw a an animation of Tubbo and Rambo, where they had Rambo saying Sam's voice lines and Tubbo saying Max's, and it was very funny. There, there goes Max again. Uh, how do we remove the glasses from him? Let's, uh, shoot him. Caffeine rush! Sweet carbonated beverages in a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. You made me mess up. Okay, let's, uh... Let's deal with Wizard first, I think. Because Wizard, we can get into the bathroom. Or we can try and fire it at him real quick. Okay. Hello. Alright, here's the plan. Our can. Let's One is literally more than enough. Let's check the garbage can. Here. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. Ah, <laughs> dog joke. Okay, Max, use the bathroom. Ooh, fun! Uh oh! Time out for number one! Oh, right! Ooh. Fuck! Ooh! I forgot! What do I do? Uh, okay, what do I do? Hey, Bosco. What do you want? We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You've got to bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Um... Nothing for us right now. Okay. Thanks, Bosco. Sleep with two eyes open. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. I wonder what happens if we get the cheese to the wizard. Can't steal you little shit. You won't steal. Okay, we get, get the cheese to wizard. Hey wizard, want some cheese? No thanks. I just want to deliver videos. Can we screw with the car? 
I might need to look this up because I'm kind of stuck. Hey, Bosco. What can I do for you? We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? Cheese, please. Okay, Mac, we want this cheese. Okay, standard cheese background check. I'll need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the 9th through 12th grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. Nothing for us right now. Okay. Thanks, Bosco. Don't take any nickels, wooden or otherwise. Wooden nickels, okay. Let's see what other stuff we can uh, use on papers. Boxing glove? Dab him. Caffeine rush! Wow, look at him go. That is one fast munchkin. Oh, gee, guys, why'd you gotta go and do that? Just passing the time. Okay, let's try, uh... Bowling ball. Nah. He hates us enough. Uh, just the video tape on him. Would you like a video? I already got a truck full of them. Thanks. I'm kind of stuck. I'm just gonna use the video tape in the bathroom. I don't think that would be interested in ocular fitness. Maybe we use the videotape on specs and then get them. One. All right, we oh. got the cheese. We got the cheese. Oh, did you see that? Oh yeah! Attention shoppers, the cheese ain't free. Sam, are you dead? Too early to tell. No one steals from Bosco. An okay. honest but excruciatingly painful mistake. Let's just return the cheese to its table. Okay. <laughs> okay, put the cheese back. Exit the door. Wait a second. I think I remember seeing a mop in someone's closet. Is there anything else I can use that on her? Um, maybe I can use that on specs? I got a copy of the video by the guy you're painting on the walls. You should watch it. I did. It made everything better. Okay, so let's see. Go back to Sybil's. There's a mop in there that we need. Oh, it's Fox. Ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. Yeah, I don't know what kitsch means. I'm dumb. And I sound like a middle schooler a lot. It's getting late. Hey, Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Tattoo for you, uh... Let's try the closet the door again. Can I not go in? Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Thanks for taking care of that. Wacko. Uh -huh. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Have you got ten grand? I'm new at this. I have a lot of student loans. Great! Loan us a student! I can ride it around like a pony! It's nice to see you show such enthusiasm. Security. Oh wait, I think we got another joke from the video. Max might like a tattoo. Oh yeah! I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands. <laughs> I get the cold shivers just thinking about remembering hearing you say that. I'm out of the tattoo business anyway. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. Okay. Uh, can you fix cars? Let's check this. Can you fix cars? 
Ours sometimes makes a noise like an orangutan with the dry heaves. Um, that's my fault. I've been keeping an orangutan in the trunk. Oh, never mind. I'm not much of a mechanic anyway, except with unicycles. I got peepers. Soto. Now I got specs. How do we now got specs? Where do we get that? Okay, hold up. Where do we get that? I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots. We could try some free association. I could interpret your dreams for you. Uh, let's try ink blots. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Uh... The results of the last time I let Max drive. All right. Now, how about this one? The St. Valentine's Day Massacre. I know that one. That is... And this? <laughs> A squirrel that got run over twice. Yeah. Now this one. What do you see? Mm. My mom's calling me. I'm declining it. Elephant. Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. Okay, I'm just guessing that one. And this one? An orangutan trying to escape from the trunk of a DeSoto. You seem fairly focused on cars, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, I go. Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm. Postponing responsibilities. Interesting. Okay. So we have a way to, to beat up Weezer. I looked it up. Because I am a fucking... I never said I was good at video games. I know I'm not. I have trouble thinking outside the box, and I didn't know we could interact or something. But we, I think we, we deal with, apparently, we were supposed to deal with the wizard first. At least that's what the walkthrough said, but we dealt with Weaver's first. Okay, that's that. All right. Hello. Cheese. Discounted cheese is nigh impossible to pass up. Okay, right. here's what we do. Here's what we do. Here is what we do. Max, we need you to potty time. Ooh, fun! Uh oh! Time out for number one! Then we go here, cheese it, and put the cheese in the crate. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Ooh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. <laughs> we know what, what happens next. Time out for number one. We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> Oh, he wet he his just, widow pants. <laughs> <laughs> classic. Just classic. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> better, That's better. So hey, you just gonna leave him there? 
Okay, so we need to... <clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! Ooh, what's going on? Where... Where's the bathroom? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's a 227-something. Specs would remember the street. He always does the navigating. Can you take us there? Heck no! I've got to take some time out for number one! Well, that was helpful. Okay, let's go. And Specs is next. We need... For this one, I'm pretty sure we need a spray can. And I think I saw one right as we went through. Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. No, I don't want to get into a paint fight in my good suit. Caffeine rush. He always sees us coming. You made me mess up. I don't think white's your color, little buddy. Don't even try it. Or maybe there was another spray paint. There was another... There's another graffiti over here. Maybe let's try this. Graffiti. This could use a little improvement. It up. Oh, now I've got to fix it, Brain Freeze. Caffeine rush. Okay, that didn't work. He always sees us coming. I think you I made me mess up. Oh, I know. Oh, I just took a look at what things we need to use for this. And I'd I rather have... punch other things. And I know, I know, to the office, I know what must be done. Now stop me if you've heard this one before. Now stop me if you've heard this one before. A pasty white guy is fixing a thing. And a Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. He God, made me mess so up. <laughs> now this is quality television. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one Why more second. Tire tracks on the wall? Okay, let's go. All right, let's go down there, wake him up, and then we got the location. Get the location. Talk to the last Take guy. control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. What? Where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no! He drove off. We need to get him. Quick, follow that soda popper. Hurry, Sam. He's getting away.
good at this. I was good earlier. No! Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Okay, I can shoot these. Try this. Got him. Shoot. Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. <laughs> Another clip. It's just, you always see cops on the news beating up on some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Uh, does anyone know how to change a tire? Nope, you're out of luck. Shit out of luck, dude. There's even a whole quotation Not mark. Not much of a secret, is it? Success story. Moment. Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? Uh... Now treating artificial personalities. Now treating artificial personality disorder. Vehicles will be stolen. The power of Ivo. Monkey. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. Locked. I guess this is where you stick your admission form. This one's very locked. Okay, I think we need to go back into DeSoto and get back to Sydney. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Okay. Here's what... All right, I did another look up because I'm, I'm a hopeless bitch. Let's try this thing. Let's try this thing. I thought, I saw this on the wiki and I thought, oh, this is just a bonus. I thought, but no, we need to use the psycho. We need the ink blot. Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. How'd you like to shrink my head a little, Doc? Of course. What's your poison? Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Sybil's very pretty. Um, okay. So the things we have to look out for. Here's the things we have to look out for. An obsession with fame or money. A violent reactions to dentistry or hairstyling. A subconscious desire to marry your mother or see your peers get older. In this case, money. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. All right. Interesting. Now, I don't have this one. The answers. All I know is stuff I need to look for. Um, an SUV. An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. That's and fame. this. An autograph written in braille. An autograph written in braille. Now this one. What do you see? Dentistry or hairstyling? Uh, marry your mother or see your peers get older. This is hard. Yes, I am. Hello. My dad just came in. 
cheering crowd of lanky albinos. A cheering okay. crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? A debit card fed through a document shredder. A debit card fed through a document shredder. You seem fairly focused on money, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. Okay, then we uh, try the free association. What's free association like? And we need to it's go. a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. Dance a samba, recite okay, the alphabet, the scream at the top of my lungs, that side. sort of thing? Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Um... Uh, tumbleweed... Promenade. Promenade. Interesting. Now try this one. Crown. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Uh... Gun. Whoa! Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Comb. Okay, another re violent reaction we need to do. Nah. Whoa! Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your reactions indicate that you're a generally violent person. I'm disturbed to hear that. Me too. I've always thought of you as a specifically violent person. <laughs> Sorry, dream Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They your reveal your subconscious. Your it's like peeling an onion. Youch! Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. Married your mom. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mmm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, is there going to be a celebration? What did you get? A wedding cake. It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. Oh, is somebody getting married? Hmm? Okay, uh... Okay, Smack's death. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. Okay, who is it? Who is there? I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? It was me. You? Hmm. I think you represent yourself. I didn't even realize that was possible. Oh, sure. Any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis. Tell me, did the other you say or do anything unexpected? No, the usual. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine, Sam. And yourself? Not too shabby. Fascinating. Where does your mind come up with this stuff? Okay. Uh, Nothing more. unusual there. Uh, rat hole. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mmm. The rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? It was that staple office knickknack, the clacking balls. Not unlike the ones on your desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, what else can we uh, screw around with? Television, what's on the TV? Not a thing was on TV. Suggesting you feel television is an intellectual wasteland. Devoid of any and all worthwhile content. So it's no, good. that can't be right. I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? Yep, then I woke up screaming. I can see why. Okay. 
I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. Okay, I, all I right. Let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit so let's further. Let's do uh, Piers getting older. Let's do Piers getting older. Okay, tell me what happened. Okay, donut box. I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? It was a birthday cake. It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Hmm. Someone's another year closer to the grave, eh? Trying to figure out, uh... Nothing unusual there. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. Excuse me, I'm standing right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max doing anything unusual? Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, do-da, do-da. But that's not unusual. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Something bothersome. What was it? Actually, there was nothing in the rat hole. Okay, I think well, I nothing bothers you. It's always good when you're not smart enough to know you should be bothered. Okay, how did you... Okay, I'm doing the right thing, but how did they... Okay, um... Alright, I think that's it. And then... Let's go out the window. Was that the end of your dream? Yep, that's it. Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm, postponing responsibilities. Interesting. Okay, did I not get it? Hey, I Doc. Gotten it. Hey, Sam. Let's try the, uh... Let's try How'd the, you like to shrink my head a little, Doc? Uh, of course! What's your poison? One. I think, Let's I think, try some more free association. free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. Lamp black. I see. How about this word? Drill. Sample size. What an unusual response. Dryer. Dryer? Okay, this one we do the gun. This one we do gun. This one we gun. Whoa, don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving. Yes, so hmm. thank you. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after years of insanely expensive treatment. Anything to support small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. Did that not do it? That should have done it. Oh, hold up. Did I screw up the inkblot one? I think I might have screwed up the inkblot one. Let's try the inkblot one again. I'm going to have to check out, this, check out the thing this time. Uh... Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. I screw up the other sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this right, and I'm tell me the, what you see. I'm looking at the answers this time for the one. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Interesting. I'm doing the obsession with money. Now, how about this one? An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this? My Uncle Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Now this one. What do you see? Uh, elephants. There we go. Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? This should be it. A debit card fed through a document shredder. Hmm. Well, judging by your responses, you seem to be fairly obsessed with money. Then again, who isn't? Thanks, Doc. Okay... Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm. Postponing responsibilities. That's not Interesting. Work. 
I should have gotten the thing. Hold hey, on. Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Is it hard to become a psychotherapist? Hold oh, up. yes. It takes weeks. For some people, it's harder not to become one. Bless your overgrown cassava melon, Max. Okay, I How do you like to shrink my head a little, Doc? Uh, of course. What's your poison? One. Let's do the second one. I did the third one, too. Maybe Let's try some order. more free association. Maybe I need to do that will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Fire away, Grizzly. Lug nut. Calorie consciousness. Mm-hmm. Fluoride. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Uh, let's punch it. Punch it. Punch it. Punch it. I feel strangely like punching something. Really? Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Teasing. Eucalyptus. Really? Interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Am I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Okay, so we have to do it in... We have to do it in order. We have to do it in order. I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right. Let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit further. Okay. So we needed to do it in order. That okay. Was tell me what happened. That was. I'm pretty sure that was a new response from Sybil. Let's go with the I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? It's a birthday cake. It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Hmm, someone's another year closer to the grave, eh? And then we go here. And who was it? It was Max. Mom. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. My dad me. came in the room. Oh, while who was your special guest? Soup. I don't think it's what we're having for dinner. If you want matzo ball soup, I love it. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. Dishes. Okay, and then we jump out the window. Or maybe we leave the office. I turned to leave the office. Oh, was that the end of your dream? Yep, then I woke up screaming. I can see why. Mm -hmm. Did that not do it? Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm, postponing responsibilities. Did that not do it? Did that not fucking do it? I need the fucking... Uh, what the hell? Whee! Oh, I need to hold up. How do I get the APD? I need the APD. What the fuck? I'm getting pissed. I'm checking. I I just checked IGN. Didn't tell me much. Let's try game frequently asked questions. Oh, I need the form. I need a goddamn form. Fuck. I was doing all that for nothing. I need a form. Okay, to the DeSoto. There goes Max again. <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? Uh. Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. So we need a form. We need a form.
Let's get the form. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. APD. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently, it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Okay. Forsooth. Fame, you don't even know what dentistry, that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically older. literate. Fame, dentistry, and peers getting older. Fame, dentistry, peers Where getting older. Where we going, older. Sam? Back to the office. Fame, dentistry, and peers getting older. We need to remember that. Fame, dentistry, peers getting older. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We finally got the form. We can finally figure this shit out. Fame, dentistry, peers getting older. Fame, dentistry, peers getting older. Ah, I spent too, much, too long on this. We're almost, but I'm pretty sure we're close to being done. Okay. Seville. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Can fame. we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure, let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Let's check this out. Uh, we need Susan Lucci. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? Mm, this one. Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. I'm cheating, I know, but I am this? so... Third ink blot is... An autograph written in Braille. Now this one, what do you see? A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? Uh, blotchy thing. Okay, blotchy thing. That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Well, your choices indicate an obsession with fame. That's one of the indicators of artificial personality disorder. I'd better make a note on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Let's, uh, some more Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. We've already Remember, been over this. I'll Let's say this. words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Use your gun! Ready? Ready as a rooster taking a bath in barbecue sauce. Interesting choice of words. How about pastiche? <laughs> That's not a word, is it? Frozen concentrated orange juice. I thought you might say something like that. I'm getting good at this. Polish. Hold up. So for the dentistry, anything. And then we got a gun. Don't shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! I really you should like see him voice. at Thanksgiving. I like her voice. I really mm. like her voice. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Shampoo. Travesty. Interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to dentistry. You should see him at the podiatrists. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. <laughs> Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. Uh, okay, let's do the unconscious desires. I'd like desires. to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right, let's mm. examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit further. All right, this one was Max. Okay, and tell me what cake. happened. Birthday cake and Max. Let's do Max first this time. I want to do Max first. I like Max. Just make sure we get everything correct. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? Uh, Max. It was Max. 
Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. He's not imaginary. He's standing right in front of you, Sybil. You fucking whore. Okay, that was very rude. I really like Sybil. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? A birthday cake. It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend, you subconsciously want to see your peers get older. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Oh, yes, damn. I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. Oh, damn. Wow, it must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no. Uh, okay, we got our form. Time to deal with Brady. What's his name? Because fuck him. Oh, his face gives me the creeps. <sighs> to the DeSoto. Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We're almost oh, done okay. with this episode. And then it's probably going to be time for dinner, so. Mm. That's it's good. Form reader? Uh, form reader. Ugh, that monkey's freaky. That's a freaky monkey. Uh, what is his deal? D beware of heavily medicated what? I, don't, I didn't get this full sign. Come on, little buddy. Really There's fast. justice to be heavily served. Heavily medicated has Can been. we get ice cream okay. afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. Oh my god, he's so cute. Max is adorable and homicide. I love him. Ooh. There's TVs on the ends of all the beds. My god. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Oh, who? Oh. Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lon Chaney in a boffo fright wig. Brady Culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow, evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me yeah, to explain. <clears throat> Uh-oh, I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no, those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles, they came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass-hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever! How cruel. Is it over? I think so. So? Whoops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch-rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their place. Oh my god, his life in your is dreams, so goddamn scared. No, my friends. In yours. His legs are so scary. Hey, that tickles! Become video delivery man. No, Sam, no! What? What's happening? Oh no. Oh no! What are you doing? I don't know. 
I... You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA. Call Interpol. Call Mickey Rooney. Must deliver... Mickey Rooney? Mickey Rooney. Who the hell? Videos. <laughs> Okay, what do we do? Uh... Hey, my beloved weapons are gone. Steal the cheese. Too far. Too far. Let's wait for him to come back in, this sucks. Oh, don't even try. <gasps> yes! I love that part. It worked! I dehypnotized myself. I think. That should have worked. Uh oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. What in the actual. You love me. You adore me. Become video delivery man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Oh my god, Holy he's a fan! Brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh yeah. Hey Sam, I'm up here! Oh, hi little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, the I'll news. save you. Maybe he's the noose? Oh, I, there's a fish outside the window! Brady calls her, Brady calls her, uh... What do I have in my inventory? I got gun. I will be number one in the race. <laughs> you can't shoot me. I'm incandescent. What about I shoot Matt? What if I shoot Max? Didn't hurt. <laughs> what if I shoot? What the hell? Bicycle? Ball? What is this thing? Oh, I have Sweet an rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. I have an idea. Open the closet door. I will be universally loved by everyone. Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce <laughs> you to a little friend of mine. Okay, this one's easy. This one's uh, decent. No, the cheese must stand alone. He said, uh, the hand. And another one the bites the moving. cheese. Saw the hand move. The hands move. It's just a dream, Sam. Yeah, it's moving. Is there anything up there? Uh, smoke. Weird. What? It's Brady Culture on TV. Yes, right where I belong. Everyone watch me. Me! <laughs> His voice is ridiculous. I really don't like it. Got a foot rack. Strange. Uh. <laughs> Shooting TV stars only makes them stronger. Oh, uh, let's check the... What else can I click on? Can I see the smoke? Hold up. Oh, the lamp's moving too. That one. Braid. Check the. Open the closet door again. Empty. I think I've done enough pumping for one dream. <laughs> Kinky. Okay. Uh, fuck. Oh, the coat hanger! The coat hanger. Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No! Oh, He's yes, gone. that's much better reception. Uh. Light switch. Let's turn it off. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? Uh, no! Farewell, lamp oh, boy. Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. Why am I lugging around a coat hanger again? 
Please, Sam, put it back on the TV. I'm begging you. Okay, let's put it back on the TV, I guess. That doesn't even work in a dream. Let's shoot Max. I don't want to pop him. Didn't hurt. <laughs> uh, kind of suck. All right. Enigmatic. I, I assume I can interact with the smoke. Let's... Put the coat hanger in the smoke. Not even in a dream. Ugh, this is weird. There's a sign on the wall. You want to name every single one of your children after me. Uh, oh. I had to look this up, but here we go. Whee! Whoa. Gotcha. Yay! Use maximum Brady culture. Oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. That was actually a little scary. <laughs> Hairball. Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. And I saved the day. Well, I saved myself. Oh, uh. Oh no! He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter! That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy! Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Mm -hmm. Brady culture. I bow man. <laughs> Stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my free little pal. Oh, they are so fucking gay. These bitches gay. Good for them. I don't suppose you have a Bosco tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams. Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something quick. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. I think I should be. Wait, there should be something in the back. No, we need to talk to Sybil. I, I, once again, I would have no clue if I didn't look this shit up. Which makes me kind of a bad gamer. I love, I love point and clicks, but I'm hopeless with them. We're off to save the gays! Sybils. Bigelow Ice Rink and Meat Packing Facility. Liver and Onions Live. Doc. Max is gone. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No, that megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. 
It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course. She stared at me but for you a second, my God. But you a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm, my lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. What am I ever doing? Okay, I think I need... Let's head back to... Let's head back to home base and get... And try to build this bitch. I love this game. I've only played, this is only the first episode, but I love this game, I have to say. The, the comedy's top notch. Okay, I think we need the coat hanger. Max isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've gotta tell him as soon as possible. That won't help me decipher this diagram. Oh god, alright, I think we need to look up another thing. No! Give it to Bosco! Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't even have to look that one up. Give it to Bosco. He can probably make sense of it. Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it? A death threat? Even better, it's instructions for the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm, well, let's see, a calling of that, yeah? Oh yeah, I can build this, just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna, got it. Okay, this I looked up, because when I was looking up what you need for this part, uh, I have to look up what you need for this part, because there's a section of it on the way. On the walkthrough, and will a make do antenna do this. as a make do antenna? Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco tech innovation. And here it is the most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh oh, it seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. Okay. Let's go to Brady Culture's Bitch Palace. Da, 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 da. We're coming on our way to save Max. Da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba. We're coming on the way to save the fluffy bunny. I really like bunnies. I have a lot of bunny stuffed animals and figurines. Figurines, I just like figurines. Stuffed animals, I collect them. I'm coming, Max. Come here. I almost fell out of my chair. Yeah. I've been very silent this place, but once again, you can kind thing can kind of work itself out. Rule number three: always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. Yeah, let's go. If it's right over your hat, oh, that's adorable. Max! Hand over the lagomorph culture. Sam. Boy, am I glad Lagomorph to see you. Like Johan Sebastian here tenor. only knows how to play one song. What's like this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized rabbits. episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again. <laughs> what? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Yeah. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry. You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you, and this time we're going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! Ow! That was another clip! Alright, how do we do this? Caffeine! Caffeine! Rush! It's a stack of those Ibo videos. Every bed's got its own TV. Creepy. I have an idea, I think. 
Attack the dog! I think I have an idea. I don't think that would be interested in ocular fitness. I'd rather punch other things. That doesn't need another coat. Let's try the Iowa video. I don't think that would be interested in ocular fitness. Hey, Culture, have you ever watched your own videotape? Of course not. I'm not an idiot. Become videotapes. Black wits, attack the dog. Ow. Okay. Attack yourselves. Dolts, attack the dog. Ow. Okay, attack the videotapes. Attack the videotapes. Buffoons, attack the dog. Ah. Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. <laughs> what nonsense. Attack the dog. Ouch. Worship me. No, me, me, worship me. You're my minions, mine. I don't think that would be interested in ocular fitness. Me, me, me! I don't me. think that would be interested in ocular fitness. Okay, that distracted them. Spray paint them. That doesn't need another coat. Attack Brady Culture. No, attack the dog! <laughs> that did not work. Okay, uh... Become yourselves. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oofs. Attack the dog! Ah. Worship me. No, me, me! Worship me! Everything is about me! Okay, I'm kind of stuck. Hold up. Let's try some more worship. Worship yourselves. No, me, me. Worship me. Everything is about me. It keeps going around in a circle. Worship videotapes. Worship the videotapes. No, me, me. Worship me. Everything is about me. All right, I'm kind of stuck. Let's try to see. I think we got to look this up. Me, me, me. And then, oh, and then we have them. Attack me. No, me, attack me, 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 me. Yes. Oops, no, wait, I mean. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I have to look Smart move, Sam. Hey. You played him like a two-dollar glockenspiel. I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. <laughs> you go, Bun Bun. That's got well, that's pop that, hats. Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic <laughs> mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. <gasps> the next episode. Okay, that was um, the first episode of Sam Max Freelance Police. 
Hopefully I can do another one tomorrow. I make no promises though, but that was very fun even though I had to do a lot of looking up. They did the comedy for me. What good boy. But I'm really ho- okay. So school starts for me on the 23rd or the 24th, but the thing is, Psychonauts 2 comes out on the 24th. So I'm really hoping I can start up a little series of that. That'd be wonderful. But I make no promises. That... Mm, I really hope. I've never, I've never played the original Psychonauts, so I should probably try and do that before playing Psychonauts 2. What am I... Hey, night. Resume. I can't skip the credits. Uh, I can't skip the credits, but I can skip to <laughs> the credits. Will I'll do, deal with the credits later. But that was fun. I'm so sorry once again for being gone for so long. I didn't talk much this time because they did the comedy for me. I was just so enticed. I get so enticed by these games. I forget to speak. It's hard. But anyway, my lovely, my lovely viewers, I want you all, once again, to fuck off and have a great day.